hello wonderful people thank you so much for coming back to my channel this is dora vlog and on this channel i bring you gist on how i am surviving in canada as a new person as a new migrant i will say yes i am here to study for some time and i promised you that on this channel i know many people have different reasons why they want to move to canada all right some people are here to study some are not here to like they have relocated finally they don't want to ever go back to their countries and all that so whatever be the motive for you to come to canada i think we share different things in common there are some things that we share in common one of those things is that when you come to canada you need to survive right you need to survive even as a student you need to find a job to be doing to sustain yourself so um, there are these news that I've come, that I came across online a few days ago. It's a kind of scary news, and I know many people out there will benefit from this information that I'm going to share on this channel right now. So, before I continue, I want to ask you if you haven't subscribed to this channel, please do so just right now, okay? Yes, because on this channel, I have promised to be bringing updates news information of how i am surviving so you can share from my experience and also how you too can you know any question you have all right yes and all other information that i'll be getting from anywhere that i i have verified and it is true and it's going to be relevant to you or even just general life experience yes on this channel so if you haven't subscribed to this channel do so just right now so you will not miss any of these updates all right so today what i want to share like i said is what i read i read it online i'm going to put the clips here for you about the new very recent development in canada yes it seems to be a bad news somehow but i believe uh to be forewarned is to be forearmed and that information is key anything that is a negative development that has solution i don't think it's that bad at all yes my people so this is all about employment in canada unemployment rate in canada has been on the increase according to this online uh, news report that i saw which i'm going to put the clips for you unemployment rate in canada is quite high now and this is especially when you talk about office jobs white collar jobs and all of that it is very high now now the reason is because a lot of people of course you know that have been trying to move to canada you know canada is like one of the 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 the, the uh preferred destination for many people right now who want to migrate it's not only from africa or from nigeria mm -mm. go to india china everybody even from the uk from the us people like canada i think because the country has some very friendly policies and all that it's actually a good place to be when you talk about settlements having peace of mind and all that and the security wise canada is very good so because of that a lot of people want to move to canada a lot of people have been migrating migrating to canada and this has started affecting a lot of things in canada for instance right now people are saying that those who have been here before have been crying that the uh the the rent has been on the increase okay yes uh, renting a, a, a house now an apartment the price has been on the increase because as more people join of course Governments may try to provide more houses, but it will not happen overnight. And it seems that Canada is welcoming more people than they had planned for. Yes, that is the situation right now. So things are going high in terms of price. But now this job um, market is also experiencing a surge. And so there is unemployment rates going on the increase now. Now it's not as if there is no job in Canada but the unemployment rates. Now, why I'm bringing this information here for you is for you to benefit from it. How are you going to benefit from it? I think um, what I, I want to advise say is that if you are coming to Canada, if you are coming to Canada, please do yourself a favor by learning a handwork. 
Omo, you cannot over, I cannot over emphasize on how important it is for you to learn a handwork before you move to Canada. Anything that this hand can do, name them. If you're a woman, you can learn how to make hair. You can learn how to make clothes. You can learn how to do anything hand can do, how to bake, how to need anything that you know these things we call handiwork you know them i cannot mention all of them here learn any one one or two or even three because the cry for unemployment there's no job it is for those office work these hand work people they are scarce here i can tell you they are scarce if you're a man of course, also women do that, but we know that these are more of masculine jobs. If you're a man, if you don't know how to drive, if you don't know anything, please learn how to drive. Even if you are young, don't say, I don't have a car yet. Please don't come here to start. If you learn how to drive, there are a lot of jobs here that will require this extra skill. Do you know how to drive? To ask you, do you have a driver's license? So if you can learn how to drive from your country, that would be very fine. The second thing is learn all these handiwork, carpentry, uh, painting, of course, also making clothes. Do you know that here, someone can just be employed to be taking measurements, like measurements of clothes. Your own in a tailoring firm is just to take measurements. And you are paid for our thick measurements. So all these things, if you can drive, if you can drive trucks, all these big vehicles, if you can drive them, forget all. The, if you can know how to attend to garden, gardeners, you can know how to trim um, um, those flowers and all that or more. If you know how to operate these machines, uh, construction machines the high scrapers, all those machines, eh? if you know how to operate them, you are hot cake. So all those other handiworks that you know, construction, you can mix cement and do something like that. Hey. So all this, before, even if you're a graduate and you have years of experience, please, Bend down now if you want to come to Canada so that you will not be part of those people that will be disadvantaged by the unemployment. You will not be affected. All this unemployment, there is no more employment or unemployment is now on the increase in Canada. It won't affect you at all. I can promise you that. Yes. So this is just what I said. I heard. Like I told you people on this channel that what will happen, anything I hear that will help you in the future or now that i'll bring it here foc free of charge that's what i promise and i'm doing that so have you subscribed to this channel if you haven't done so what are you waiting for click on that subscribe button okay and then that's all and also share share with your friends and relatives you never know who will benefit from it and it will affect you if your brother benefits from this information it's going to affect you if your sister benefits, it's going to affect you. So please, share this video. Okay? Thank you so much for joining Inspiration This with Dora. I will be bringing you more updates. So don't go anywhere. Alright? Thank you. See you again in my next video. Ciao, ciao, ciao. <music>